what up we're back in the halloween season uh today we're gonna go over how to draw a jack-o-lantern with some candles around him and that's gonna be easy simple 100 percent for beginners so if you're a beginner stick around let's do it i'm using a marker you can use whatever you like you can use a pencil let's get started okay i'm gonna go right here and i'm gonna start with a triangle for one eye so literally just a line up line down straight line across right pretty much just a basic run-of-the-mill triangle let's put another one right there next to it right here line out triangle right in the center for the nose so when you're drawing this kind of stuff you want to be able to kind of say it has some depth right because the pumpkin itself has thickness to it so the way you do that is to you can either add an extra layer right here like a strip or, well, that's really the main way to do it. You can add an extra strip here or cut into there as it is, right? And it's going to look like it has this, again, depth. And the larger part of it, we're just going to fill in. Man, I've been missing Halloween. And uh, we're about two months or so from Halloween, so we're going to start all this stuff up. Cool. Going to go over here curve right here for kind of the top of the brow of one pumpkin so there's different um, basically drawings for all this stuff there's a lot of different versions of the pumpkin so absolutely you can check out the playlist the pumpkin playlist to draw different ways of drawing a jack lantern curve over here because it's kind of an infinite amount of ways on how to draw a jack lantern honestly I'm gonna go over here for a smile over here on this side for a smile I'm gonna pull in square continue square tooth on the other side and I'm gonna pull up gonna go here to the top I just feel like putting in the stem and it's gonna have a kind of a waviness to it right it's gonna be kind of jaggedy at the top line up line up line up Out, out, over here underneath, curve underneath, and then pull up right there. All right. And so I'm going to fill in this large shape as well. You have to kind of be weird to protect your marker, right? Because it might just have a, uh, you know, it might, it might, if it's too large of a black space, it might kind of kill it off. I forgot one thing you want to leave a little bit of a strip as well on these teeth to give that a sense of depth so Put it over here on the side there leave a little bit of right there for the edge of that as well I'm gonna go over here and curve around the corner here I'm gonna go over here on this side and pull around this corner I'm gonna go underneath boom 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 right there I'm gonna give it some ridges and I'm gonna throw a thinner line down here I'm not I'm gonna kind of disconnect when it gets around a dark part so right here I'm gonna pull a line down 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 right but it's not gonna go all the way through the dark part it's gonna like disconnect right on now let's go over here and draw the uh, candles so I'm gonna go over here at the top pull a line up and it's gonna be all waxy and we're gonna pull down over here and it's gonna be kinda of waxy at the bottom okay it's just kinda of like a stiff area but of course it's been on for a while so it's gonna be wax on it line up curve over here line up same almost same shape kinda of waxy at the top 
and this one can go right behind it a little bit and you won't be able to see it and then you see that waxy bottom all right doing pretty good don't forget hit the subscribe and click the bell notification if you want to learn how to draw Halloween stuff I'm gonna be posting videos constantly okay and what that's gonna do when you hit the subscribe it's gonna let you know what I'm drawing for that day um, the season has a lot of drawings going on it's a lot of cool stuff a lot of amazing art so absolutely hit the subscribe and click that bell notification line up over here curve up and you can draw like a smaller kind of flame on the inside there and if you want as far as extra detail goes I would throw maybe something like a curve right here like the wax is falling off right it's gonna give it a little bit of um, realism that it would not have had otherwise if I didn't put that in so it's kinda cool to kinda add this kinda stuff and you can always add in your own stuff like if you want a bat in the back or something like that you you know feel free to kind of be creative with it because that's kind of the point of this stuff right is to be creative I'm gonna pull underneath over here curve curve and that's mostly it so what I'm gonna do last is I'm gonna throw a thick line around the entire uh, the entire image and the reason I do that is because I want it to look kinda like a sticker uh, just to say, you know, to kind of segue into don't forget, I'm going to be putting some Halloween stickers for sale that are art related. It's not just uh, Halloween. It's, they're also like artistic, you know, in nature. So absolutely do that. Curve, curve up over here. Line over here curve 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 Got that over here again that line just gives it a just kind of I don't know added extra it just looks kind of cool with that line as you can already kind of tell it's already starting to look a lot better right there and curve right here maybe throw another little droplet um, and maybe one more right here kind of around the bottom of the wax but that's mostly it um, I want you to do something sharing is caring share the video with somebody that you think might enjoy it or share it on Twitter or reddit or anywhere that videos are shared share it and uh, yeah that really helps the channel out I want to thank you very much and I will talk to you in the next video and I'll see you very 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 soon happy Halloween Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here how to draw a dragon head I have anime I have cartoons there's categories for everything and everything is for beginners um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it this is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons so you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up 
and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent, and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up, um, and that's it.